this is Revs, and I'm back with another unbanned video. In today's video, I'm gonna go over the best hardware ID spoofer that is on the market. This spoofer comes with a MAC address spoofer, and it also will spoof your TPM. With just those two things alone, there's a lot of spoofers out there that cannot do those two things. There is a reason why I'm saying this is the best one. So all I need you guys to do is follow every step I show you guys so you can spoof properly. This works on games like Valorant, Fortnite, COD, Rust, 5M, Battlefield 6, Rainbow Six. Basically, any game that you can get hardware banned on, this spoofer will work on. So since this is a step by step process i need you guys to go to arcticcheats.wtf the link will be in the description so once you get here you're going to come across trace this is arctic spoofer you can look through the pictures if you want to i'm going to go over everything with you guys there is a one day one week and one month key you can get a four dollars and ninety cents for one day or if you want it for an entire month which is what i recommend the most for about thirty dollars coming down to the spoof list this is everything you can spoof with this spoofer this will spoof your disk serials your ram serials even your monitor serials your network adapters your registry values your mac address which is a big one your gpu of course and of course your motherboard so all the compatibility details are right here and supported games this is all listed here as well once again i do recommend the 30-day key if you guys only want to get the one day key to test it out for yourself go ahead and do that choose your duration and then check out so once you check out you're going to be brought to a page that looks similar to this this is going to be your free setup instructions your required downloads and your entire setup guide but i'm gonna go over all of it with you all right so the one setting that is non-negotiable for any of you guys is you're gonna have to come in here and turn off virus and threat protection otherwise you're not even going to go to download the spoofer so go ahead and turn off real-time protection and it will also turn off dev drive automatically come back to this page and it's also highly recommended you download and run d control to fully disable your antivirus it also gives you the password so once again i mentioned this in the other two videos that are being posted i did not have to do this setting right here at all and you guys will see that i had no issues spoofing some of you guys you will have to run this it's all based on your motherboard another thing is also make sure you uninstall face it anti-cheat and vanguard face it is directly correlated to cs2 and vanguard is Valorant's anti-cheat. One more setting that I did not have to do is disable TPM, secure boot, and fast boot. I'm also running off of a PC that doesn't have Windows at all. So if you guys do try to spoof and you have any issues, go ahead and do these two steps right here. Some of you guys will have to do it, some of you guys won't. Then go ahead and open up this link right here and then choose wherever you guys want to download it to. I'm gonna download it to my desktop. All right, so once the spoofer is 100% downloaded, all you have to do is open it from here. You guys are probably gonna notice that I have a different background and that's because I am actually recording off of this PC, but I'm spoofing that PC. So if you guys have any questions about that, that's why. So go ahead and open up the loader. You're gonna have to make yourself an account. You're also gonna have to put your license key in the loader in order for it to work. That's pretty self-explanatory though. So going over all of these different unbanned spoofers. Okay, so let's get into it. So there's multiple different permanent ban messages, AKA hardware identity bans, messages that you could receive. I'm telling you guys right now that this is gonna work on all the games that we already mentioned, and this will help you get on hardware banned. So for Fortnite, you're gonna wanna use easy anti-cheat. If you're trying to get on ban on a game that runs battle eye, you obviously wanna use battle eye. So for Ricochet, this is only gonna be for Call of Duty. I don't think any other game would risk their company using that. So anti-cheat expert, Five Guard, which is directly gonna be 5M, NetEase Games, and EA, of course, which is most known as Battlefield. So coming over to support, something that's very convenient is they have their built-in support ticket system. So you can go ahead and make yourself a ticket if you do have any issues. Most of you will not have any issues. And then once someone answers you, it will pop up in your tickets. All right, so when it comes to the cleaners, I have a cleaner for every different game that we already mentioned, which will just help remove more ban traces. When it comes to your cereals, I already spoofed. So this is what it's gonna look like before spoofing and after spoofing. As you can see, all of these cereals numbers are different in the spoofer world the two biggest ones that you guys are going to notice here are going to be tpm and your mac address it's actually right next to each other and both of these were successfully changed everything else will successfully change as well everything that was changed is highlighted so it tells you what is different and then the last tab is of course the discord all right so when it comes to using this spoofer if anything is updating at the moment it will say updating it will also tell you if it's detected or not most of these are undetected because this is an amazing product all right so a lot of you guys are probably banned from easy anti-cheat aka fortnite so i'm gonna go ahead and use this one for this video so go ahead and click spoof and once you get to this page right here you can toggle on or off whatever you do or don't want to spoof when it comes to fortnite i recommend keeping tpm gpus efi sm your discs and your license all on but for the sake of this video I'm gonna go ahead and just leave everything on. Anti-cheats have a very distinct way of uh, banning people. The better anti-cheats get, the better this spoofer is gonna get. So that's why you're able to spoof things like your monitor with this and your USBs because they can really ban anything nowadays. All right, so the spoof was successful. Some of you guys will have to restart your PC. Some of you guys won't. As you can see from the previous page, everything was changed once again. These new spoofing serial numbers are not the same as the previous ones. I'm not exactly sure why it's saying not available here, but everything was changed. I could look at the numbers and tell you guys that it was changed. So that's pretty much all you guys have to do, man. Whatever game you're banned on is make a brand new account. Get back on the game. If the game is free, that's even more convenient for you. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.